Hi, this is Rachel with the ESL Academy. Um, congratulations on being accepted into our program. At this point, you have completed your Skype interview and you have received the email from us with your acceptance letter, um, the attachment for the certification of financial resources, um, as well as these instructions that tell you how to register your admission at CU Denver. This can be a complicated process for students, so I want to walk you through it. All right, so I have a sample letter here that says, Dear Abdullah, in order to accept this offer of admission, please follow the step-by-step -step instructions below to register your acceptance and to obtain a CU Denver student ID number. We will not be able to issue you a Form I-20 until you complete these three steps and obtain your student ID number. So we're going to start with step one and this will take us right to the link we need. Okay, so since you are new students, you are going to register here. So you're going to click on this link and we're going to fill out all of this information, right? If you have a middle name, you do not have to include it. However, it is very helpful that you use the same format you did for your application, um, which should match what you have on your passport. Okay. Um, for the address, please choose the country that you live in. If you try to do this as it, with the US address, it will not work. We need you to choose your permanent home address, okay? Um, for me, um, let's see, I'll choose Greenland just to give an example that matches what I put on the sample certification of financial resources form. All right, so I'm going to write Snow Street apartment Snow Street and maybe I have an apartment there and I'm not actually going to use my real name um, so that way when the registrar sees this they'll know that this is not a real student Jane Doe Greenland Okay, um, sissy moot, and the postal code there is DK one. Okay, again, I need to put my date of birth, and again, we start with the month in the United States. Um, and whatever. And then you want to include your email address. So again, I recommend choosing the email that you used for your application. Choose the email that you check the most. Okay, you do not have to include your gender, but you can. Um, and if you do not have a social security number, obviously you wouldn't include it. Okay, this is really important. You're going to include your password here and you need to create a new password. It needs to follow these rules. So this is complicated. It should have at least eight numbers and letters or special characters. It needs to have at least three of these qualities. So it needs to have at least one lowercase letter, at least one uppercase letter, and at least one number or special character. And a special character is something like a dollar sign or an asterisk um, or an exclamation point if you know what any of those are. So you want to write this num this password down and it might take you a couple of tries to get it right. Okay. Okay, 
So you'll include the username, oops, <laughs> that's not it, the username that they gave you. And then the password that you created. So here you, we're in step two, and you need to be really careful about this. So when we say, please select a career, even if you want to go to CU Denver and get a master's degree or a PhD degree or a bachelor's degree, you are going to choose non-credit because the ESL Academy is a non-credit program. Um, when you fully enroll at CU Denver as an engineering student or a business student or um, an education major, then you can change your career, but for now you need to pick non-credit because that's what we use at the ESL Academy. For select a program, you are also going to choose non-credit. And for a field of study, Again, non-credit, downtown campus. So we're choosing non-credit all the way. Um, if you are enrolling in either our fall one or our fall two term, you would choose fall 2014 or 2015, depending on when you're watching this video. Um, if you're enrolling in a spring one or spring two term, you would choose spring in the appropriate year. So the main campus doesn't have as many terms as we do at the ESL Academy. So you just choose the one that matches the season, right? So if you're coming for fall one, choose fall. If you're coming for spring two, choose spring. And then summer should be the same. Okay, this application is not complete. This or registration process is not complete until you click apply for this program. You want to check the information that you've got here and then you click save and continue. Oops. and choose a valid phone number. Okay. Um, here, you want to choose international student. You select your visa type. So you are probably an F1 or a J1 student if you're attending our program. So scroll down until you see the correct student type. And then you need the issue date for that visa. Make sure it matches what you got from your embassy. And the expiration date. And again, make sure this matches the document that you have. Okay. The city of birth, again, is required. Country of birth is again required. So scroll down until you see the one that matches your country. Um, and now is a good time to enter your emergency contact information. This should be ideally a person who speaks some English. Okay, that might be a parent or a friend or a neighbor. Okay. Um, you hopefully have not any pending criminal charges or have not been convicted of a crime. Um, if you have, they're going to probably ask you for more information than you would need to fill out this criminal history supplemental form. But I'm assuming most of you are going to say no.
Okay, so once you get to this page, you would click Submit. All right, so you finish the application. Um, you're certifying that to the best of your knowledge, this information is true and complete. And once you do this, um, we can issue you your I-20. I'm not going to click this button because um, that would mean that I am stating that I am a real person when clearly Jane Doe from Greenland is not a real person. Um, but you have to submit, um, click this button and make sure that your application goes through. Um, once you do this, you will be able to claim your account in step three. So you can enter in that information um, and you're going to include the ID number that was emailed to you. So after you submit that, after you register your, app, your admission, um, they will send you an ID number to whichever um, email address that you give them. You include your last name and then your birth date to pick it up. And then you click submit. And this should give you um, your student password, which you will need to write down or take a screenshot of. Um, you need to bring that with you when you come to orientation. Um, they're also going to ask you to answer security questions, and the easiest way to get around this is to use lowercase a to answer any question that you ask. Um, that way you won't forget the answers that you chose, or you won't have problems with spelling. Okay, So you can just choose lowercase a on your keyboard to answer all of those questions. And I know this might be a little difficult since I'm not totally going through the whole process, since I didn't want to um, trigger a fake application. Um, so if you have any questions, please contact us at esl at ucdenver.edu. Thanks.